Hey, it's Mike with Redline Tools, and today I'd like to walk you through the simple process of repairing your chip fan. Should you have lost a blade due to a collision or a possible spring failure, uh, it's a pretty simple process to be able to repair your uh, blades on this fan. Um, the first thing you're going to want to have for this that makes it simpler is to keep your fan mounted inside uh, a tool holder and then we're going to have a vertical tool holder fixture that we can secure the fan down in. That's going to make it easier for taking the bolt on and off of this unit. Some of the things you're going to need for your chip fan repair is you're going to need a, a torque wrench, uh, an extension, and a half inch deep well socket. Uh, those combinations are going to give us the clearance we need to get above our blades so that we won't have inter any interference when we're removing the assembly. When removing your fan, grip all the blades and give a slight right to left twist as you lift upwards. The whole assembly should come off as one piece. Take note of the washer. The small side of the washer will go down against the retaining clip for the springs. For your repair, we're going to have a kit available, RTF-10 RK4, that will come with four brand new blades and four brand new springs for your assembly. When you're going to be repairing your fan, you're going to want to make sure that the pin that holds the spring is in a horizontal alignment with the pin that's on the fan blade. A small screwdriver can be used to use, orientate that. Once the orientation is complete, you will put the open end of the spring into the pin on the blade. You can repeat that procedure with all four blades. Once you have all four blades ready to go back together with the hub, take your spring retaining clip, place it on top with the hooks going upwards. We can now hook each spring onto the clip and into the receivers on the hub. I'm going to go across from each other, which makes it easier. And now the retaining clip will hold itself. Be sure to get your pins into the proper recessed pockets. We can now put our hub assembly back together. Our washer will go small side down. Our nylock nut. And we will now torque this to 15 foot-pounds. Our chip fan repair is now complete.